As more and more people get the COVID vaccine, there is a big debate. Can some of the restrictions and safety measures change? People specifically are asking, do you still need to wear a mask outside where we know the risk of transmission is lower? Well, some experts say you should follow the two out of three rule. So here it is. If you're outside and can maintain social distancing, no need for a mask, but if you're outside and can't, then you got to mask up. And even if you're inside and able to be socially distanced, you should still be wearing a mask. Now on a related note, a mom in Georgia has gone viral. She gave a very emotional speech at a school board hearing about kids and masks. Take a listen. Every one of us knows that young children are not affected by this virus. They're not, and that's a blessing. But as the adults, what have we done with that blessing? We've shoved it to the side and we've said, we don't care. You're still going to wear a mask on your face every day, five and six year olds. You still can't play together on the playground like normal children, seven and eight year olds. We don't care. We're still going to force you to carry a burden that was never yours to carry. Shame on us. Wow. Okay. So listen, we want all of you to write in. We always want to hear from you. Please let us know your thoughts. Uh, I, ha I appreciate this mom's impassioned plea. I do, because she believes she's advocating and she is advocating for her children and the children that are go to the, uh, or maybe children everywhere. However, the facts aren't right. And I think it's our job here to correct those facts. Um, and I say that respectfully to her, knowing that she's doing what she believes is in her best interest. But we did talk to our medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. She says regarding children, they were at a lower risk. Prior. Now, there are new variants, right. and only adults and 16 and over are the ones that are able to get vaccinated. So now children are the ones most at risk. If you live in, if, if you live in a neighborhood next to a school like we do, you know that the school, at least our school near us, just got shut down because there was 12 cases in one week. That's kids sixth grade and under. So kids are getting COVID and they're actually, some of them are getting hospitalized because these new variants are more contagious. So that's mm -hmm. really important to know out there. Um, also masks and mental health. Of course, this, got, this has to affect kids. You would think, right? But according to uh, psychologists, uh, kids' brains are more flexible and adaptable than parents. Uh, she, Dr. Coley does agree with that two out of three rule. So that is good to know. Um, but kids are also the ones that have trans uh, were the, the biggest, you know, transmitters. Is that even a name? Yes, definitely. They're the biggest If you send a kid to preschool, everybody knows what you mean. And you got to think about the teachers. You got to think about your loved ones, especially if you're Lindsay in a multi-generational household. I mean, Eric, my brother-in-law, who just got a double lung transplant, is going to have a six-month recovery from COVID complications. His doctors believe he got it from a young child. So let's remember that young child may may have been fine, right? May have been able to fight off that virus or maybe had symptoms, mild symptoms, but my brother-in-law almost lost his life. Right. And I think I think Sam you have a good point cuz you know, we want to protect everybody, and we have a lot of adults that are around these kids that we really need to protect, and it's no fault of theirs that they passed the virus. Um, but at the same time, I remember you and I talking about how uh, Miles has not seen any human beings um, in his baby one-year-old life. You know, he hasn't been around anybody besides you and your husband. And, like, so I know that people with seven-year-olds and kids that are used to interacting, like, in the park and with other people are really finding this experience really rough um, to get them back to, I know, like, some kids that I haven't seen in a year will look at me and be terrified and I'm like we're related what are you doing <laughs> so I think you know it's just it's hard because um, I think parents are thinking about their direct immediate circle and how it's going to affect their child um, growing up without being around their family for more than a year and then other people are thinking about the long-term effects that it might have on some adults that need to parent these kids like your brother-in-law so it's a tough situation. Al, you have three kids. Yeah. How are you dealing with this? Is there a happy uh, medium? Is there a way to still get those kids out there and social, but still do the best you can to protect them? I, you, you know, it, uh, you can't say it's up to every parent because if you say that, then if one kid is massless and contagious, that everybody is is at risk. I understand this woman's impassioned plea. I truly do, Jeff. We think about baby Miles and we think about just socializing kids. Lawson should be learning at this age how to share, what to do if he's being bullied, all these things that you learn at that age and he's not, and that's scary. But what I didn't hear from that woman's video is what if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong? Right. Then where is the impassioned plea when she, everybody listens to her, we all take off the masks and we have 400 outbreaks at her, at her kid's school. 
what's her plan then? Right. And so when she has that part of her speech, I'm ready to hear the full speech. But until we have the part that we can all agree on, we want our kids out, out the house for real. I think you know? there can be a happy medium. I think you can see you, you can your kids go to school, but they're very their Your school enforces the masks. They enforce the social distancing. Right. I'm trying to get Sophie out there to have play dates with her friends. I make sure that we enforce the social distancing. I think there is a way to allow your children to be social. Of course, it's not perfect, but not isolate them. We can't even get adults to wear masks, and if they do, we can't get them to wear it right. Right. So depending on where you live and what your ideologies are, even political opinion, which is still blows my mind. It's all different, right? So whatever your parents think, you're gonna do to your children. If you as a parent say, I'm not wearing this stupid mask anymore, and I'm not gonna follow this three rule, because I don't even follow one rule, your kids aren't gonna do it, right? And if you say, I am gonna wear the mask, and I'm gonna pass it on to my kids, but then there's three rule, it's very confusing. It goes not even state by state, but county by county. County by county. It's very, it's very difficult to enforce one ideology.